name is Reverend Coloma Smith. I'm the pastor of the University AME Zion Church right here in Palo Alto, California. I'm so excited about the launch of our digital campus where we'll get a chance to really deepen and expand and expand our bonds as community. But the thing that makes this really special is the team that we've assembled to lead this campus. Right now, I want to introduce you to our campus director, Sister Carice. Um, Sister Carice, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, thank you, Reverend Coloma. My name is Karis Chipchirchirtirop. I know it's a mouthful. You're all going to have enough time to practice it. <laughs> and I'm a third year PhD student in African history at Stanford University. I'm originally from Kenya, born and raised just here for schooling. And yeah, I've been fellowshipping with the University of Zion congregation since um, late 2019. Wow, we're so grateful to have you here. Um, what are you, what are you most excited about with this digital campus? I think for me, it's just the opportunity to reclaim the digital space. I feel like it's been a site of so much like contestation and perhaps we have not done as much as we should with that space. So I'm just really excited to kind of see the kinds of community we can build um, in this digital space and to get to know people because I feel like we're living in a time of great isolation. Personally, I live um, alone uh, because I'm just here for my PhD alone and sometimes it can feel quite isolating. And then with the pandemic having hit, it's just difficult difficult to think about ways to create community and especially one that is Christ-centered um, yes and very committed to like helping us grow in our faith so that's what I'm really most excited about and secondly I'm a person who moves a lot I'll actually be traveling to go for my research year and so I think it's hard to really think about how to connect with people who are always you know so joining in places like just moving from one place to another so and uh, I was really worried actually I was just like am I going to leave university again and try and find another church where I'm moving so just just, the, you know, knowing that we're starting to plant the seeds for something that is going to be, you know, hopefully for so many, exist for so many years and something that I, I can connect to when I'm in my research trip mm -hmm. back in Kenya or if I'm looking at archives, I don't know, elsewhere in the world, mm -hmm. just to know that I can have a space to come and say hi to you people and to, you know, do Bible study with folks, mm -hmm. to read encouragement notes. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just really exciting to think about the longevity of it and just getting to know real people for who they mm -hmm. are. Well, what do you think the greatest impact this can have on the kingdom? Because, you know, oftentimes God gives us visions and dreams and our heart for something. What do you think the greatest impact this can have on the kingdom of God and the people of God? I think... It's just that that same statement about rethinking what we mean by kingdom of God. Because I think in a world where a lot of people tend to be like, you know, siloed and closed off, one defining people through very like closed off boxes, what, what, one is that. And then secondly, I think we live in a kind of society where we've decided all oh, people who don't look at, like us are... You know, we should keep them off. We're closing off borders, you know, and yet we have this space that I think is so beautiful for encouraging kind of like interracial, like um, community formation, right? Uh, looking at different ways for intergenerational community. So I'm really just excited for what it will do for defining the kingdom, for defining who makes up the kingdom of God in terms of community. So looking forward to engaging with people who are like potentially 50 years older than me, you know, 20 years younger than me. And just the kind like reminding ourselves that we are all human beings at our core, right? And that is what I think really matters. And God looks at us um, as human beings first before anything else, right? So I'm just excited to, to see what kind of communities will come from that and how people will just grow deeper in Christ and, with, and together in fellowship fellowship um, through that space. And I guess another thing, I'm always fascinated every time I read scripture and especially um, the ministry of Jesus, I'm always amazed by how um, he offers the invitation. First, Jesus always sees someone, sees them for who they are, and then invites them in. And I think this is just a space to actually imagine what, you know, uh, a digital space can provide us to think about Jesus's ministry, about seeing people for who they are, and then inviting them into fellowship with us, and hopefully from that, grow and bring in more people in into the kingdom. So I think it's really just an exciting opportunity. Wow. Well, Sister Kiris, we are so excited to have you as a campus director. As you can hear right now, this digital campus has some of the most amazing team members and people that are staffing it. We can't wait to see you on March 21st where you can come join, be part of this amazing community, meet this amazing team, interact with them on a regular basis. We can't wait to see you March 21st. Thank you.